Hi folks and welcome to this video where we're going to make another ball for the eye bows. In a previous video we made this pink ball for the eye bows and we made it really really light. It even ended up lighter than the original ball which we were really pleased about because the ball we made before this one really was too heavy when the eye bows tried to kick it, it just wouldn't move sometimes. There was another problem with this red ball in that the marks of the 3D printing cause a kind of sheen and that seemed to confuse the eye bows as a lot of the time they didn't seem to be able to line up with it correctly to kick it. So the last ball that Paul made he covered with some enamel spray paint and this does seem to have worked to get rid of that sheen that was on the red ball we made. The colour of it though called hot pink isn't very close really to the original ball and when the eyebows were presented with all three balls they did show a strong preference for the original ball. It looks like she's going for the original. Going for the original. Scout. Where's your ball? She's found it. Hooray. Good girl. All right, let's go straight back. So we do need to get the colour to be a closer match to the original ball. And we have managed that because we found a shade of spray paint that's called fluorescent neon pink. And that is very close. And that is the spray paint that we're going to use on the ball we're going to make today. I will say this though, the pink ball that we made last time works really well when the eye bows do play with it. And it actually seems to work better than the original ball because it's lighter and when you kick it, it can move much more easily. Wow! Can you do that rocket? Good boy! Good boy! <laughs> Whoa! Brilliant! Like that off. went further mm. than the original one normally mm. does on carpet. Good boy! So Paul's made another 3D printed ball, the same as the last one. And he's removed all the support material, so it's completely hollow. And he's glued it together, so it's ready to spray paint. So this is the spray paint that Paul has managed to source. And this is matte as well, isn't it Paul? Yes. Whereas the other one was gloss. So that should help as well. So this time Paul has sanded the ball as well. So that should also help to get rid of the lines that you get with 3D printing. But this is after the first coat. Look at that for match. Absolutely fantastic. So this is it after its second coat touch dry now and it's amazing I 
can't get over the closeness. So there's the original next to the ball that Paul made last time. And here's the one that he sprayed with the new neon pink. Absolutely amazed. I can't get over how close that is. It's almost exact. So you were saying, Paul, that the original ball has got like a tiny bit of sort of like texture on it to try and make it a bit more matte, to make it less shiny. Yeah. Oh, I can't talk. Paul can't <laughs> talk at the minute. He's lost his voice. <laughs> but he did say that. <laughs> And because the one he's just made, he sanded it and the spray paint's matte as well. So that's cut down the reflection. So as well as it being a much closer colour, it's not as shiny as the other one either. And we've got the advantage that it is actually lighter than the original. So it should be better than the original now. Yes. And um, it's harder so that that allows it to go further when the eyebow kicks it as well so let's try it out with the eyebows so i've got all four balls now and the one that paul's just made is this one so we'll see which one the eyebows choose Where's your ball? <laughs> is that just coincidence or is he copying her? That can't be coincidence. You play together. <laughs> Is she going to go for the one that Paul's just made? Now, I've speeded this part up a lot because Rocket took an absolute age deliberating which ball she was going to play with. Can we have a look at that one? Wow, good girl. That's interesting. So that's the one she chose. Scout's just gone over to the original ball. <laughs> laid down with it. So he's laid down with the original ball. <laughs> so finally, Scout took notice of the new ball 
It was interesting because he had his original ball right next to the new ball, but he still chose the new ball. I speeded it right up because it took him quite a while before he finally kicked it. Good boy! I noticed there when Scout did finally kick this, mm -hmm. it went quite a long way, especially considering it's on, it was on the thick rub. Yeah, that's right. And when we think about earlier in the video when Rocket kicked the original ball, it actually mm -hmm. went backwards. Yes, that's right, yeah. And it's got a tendency to do that, the original board. <clears throat> yeah, the original board, the plastic on it is, um, it's uh, softer and uh, it seems to absorb some of the, uh, <clears throat> it seems to absorb some of the kick impact. Mm. Yes. So this has been a, a great success. It has, yeah. Mm. And we're very pleased with it. So folks, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.